explain it. You probably have heard that before when meeting somebody involved with Luxembourg. It means hello. It's a greeting that can be used almost all day long. But I am getting ahead of myself. I'm going to introduce you to the people at our table. Daniel Toth is the is a director of Luxembourg American Culture Society from Strassen, Luxembourg. The class members here, besides myself, are Charlotte Brunner from Brookfield, Wisconsin, Walt Schmitz from Sockville, Wisconsin, and I am Mary Fleurl. I have been conducting the language classes for the last 15 years. The Luxembourg language class had its beginning when Enos Koring, a teacher at the Institut de Langue in Luxembourg City, inquired about having a summer school class for students in the Fort Washington schools to study during a summer school session and in the evening for adults to study Luxembourgish. Now at this time, it was also arranged for those interested in learning Luxembourgish. This was the beginning. It has grown over the years from the original 16 to 26 members, some of them leaving to join us from above and some of us going on to other things. I say that we are always beginners because we have members joining at all times who have no background in the language, especially now with those who are now having dual citizenship applications. As a group, we have as our goal to learn the language, though not become fluent, explore the culture, share our experiences, and promote Luxembourg heritage. We initially only met in person at the Village Hall in Belgium, Wisconsin, across from the Cultural Center. Since COVID-19, we have been meeting on Zoom. This enables those more distant to attend our class now. Check your handout for more contact information. At the end of the presentation, there will be time for more questions. We will begin this session with a few phrasers that are often used. Moyen means hello. Moyen. Moyen. Budimutish means good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening means good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good night means good night. Good night. Good night. Eddie means goodbye. Eddie. Eddie. We get it means how are you? We get it. We get it. It gets, merci. I'm fine, thanks. It gets, merci. It gets, merci. Not so good. Not so good. Not so good. Not so good. Schlecht means bad. Schlecht. Schlecht. Yo means yes. Yo, yo. Ne means no. Ne, ne. Falschlift means please. Notice that after Falschlift, in parentheses, there's a W dot E dot G. That's the abbreviation for Falschlift. And you will find that many times in written uh, documents 
for uh, Luxembourg. And so when you do, you'll know right away that that means Spanish language. Merci means thank you. Merci. Merci. Fillbos merci means thank you very much. Fillbos merci. Fillbos merci. Pardon means sorry. Pardon. Pardon. Petit malit means I'm sorry. Petit malit. Petit malit. Entschuldigung means excuse me. Entschuldigung. Entschuldigung. We are going to go through the alphabet because the Luxembourg alphabet, even though it's written the same as ours, has a different pronunciation. And there are times when we may have to spell our names or addresses or something to clarify what we are saying. And we need to be able to spell it in the Luxembourgish. Ah. 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 B. 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 C. 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 D. 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 E, 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 F, 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 G, 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 H, 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 E, 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 Y, 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 K. L. 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 M. 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 N. 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 O. 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 P. 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 Q. 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 L. Air, air, S, F, S, T, 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 U, 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 F, 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 V, 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 X, X. X, Y, 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 Z, 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 A, A, E, 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 O, E, 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 Say it together. A, B, C, D, E, F, D, H, E, L, M, O, P, Q. We have a few more phrases that we thought would be helpful, and um, when Charlotte and Wolf will give their names. They will also spell their names. So they will show how it is necessary to give practice in spelling. 
Behishtu means what is your name? Behishtu. Beshishan Tanya Tot. My name is Daniel Tot. Behishtu. Beshishan Charlotte Brenner. Means my name is Charlotte Brenner. Sa, ha, a, er, l, o, t, t, e, b, er, u, n, n, e, er. Well, one still means where do you live? The Schwinnen zu Berfield, Wisconsin. Not us, dying name means what is your name? My name is Walt Schmitz. My name is Walt Schmitz. B A L T S C H M E T S. Well, what's two? Means where do you live? If Boonen of Southville, Wisconsin. Means I live in Southville, Wisconsin. Means we like to remain Luxembourg. It's important to know the numbers in the Luxembourgish also, because there are times when we need them to give a telephone number or an address, or even to tell how many of a thing you might want. And so we are going to go through the numbers from Zero to twenty. Zero. Null. No. One. Eight. Eight. Two. Three. 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 Five. Four. Five. 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 Six. 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 Seven. 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 Eight. Acht. Acht. Nine. Ning. Ning. Ten. Sing. Sing. Eleven. 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 Twelve. Swill. Swila. Thirteen. Dreizehn. Dreizehn. Fourteen. Vierzehn. Vierzehn. Fifteen. Fünfzehn. Fünfzehn. Sechzehn. 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 Seventeen. 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 Eighteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Nineteen. 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 Twenty. 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 Okay, we'll say the numbers all 
through from 0 to 20 and press the verdict. 8. Or we'll start with 0. <laughs> 8. 8. 3. 5. 5. When we are studying numbers or using the numbers in our class, we often uh, do it with games. We can use game which is similar to bingo, or we don't call it bingo, so and that is sometimes challenging. And of course, then we have prizes. Uh, the prizes might even be pennies. Um, we also um, use the numbers in adding and subtracting and multiplying. We haven't done it with dividing yet, but we use the numbers so that our class members can practice um, getting the numbers and then um, deciding how they can be used in well, everyday usage of lots of We are going to now go to the market. And this should be fun. <laughs> One red tomato. Any road tomato. Any road tomato. One yellow pear. Any yellow pear. Any yellow pear. Notice Charlotte is holding the name um, on a card also might be hard to see in the corner. One yellow banana. Ten yellow banana. Ten yellow banana. One orange orange. Ten orange orange. Ten orange orange. One green apple. In green apple. In green apple. One orange turret. In orange wood. In orange wood. Two yellow lemons. Two. Yell citronen. Swell yell citronen. One green lime. Ein green limet. Ein green limet. One uh, yellow. Corn cob. Ein gelen Maiskorb. Ein gel Maiskorb. One onion. Ein onion. Ein onion. So, so, three, one, two, three, <laughs> brown potatoes. Three, brown, brown potatoes. Three, brown, brown potatoes. A pound 
of noodles. I found noodles. I found noodles. Fried fish. Dice of fish. Dice of fish. Some ice cream. Eng glass. Eng glass. One yogurt. In yogurt. In yogurt. White wine. Dice wine. Dice wine. Grand Premier Cru. <laughs> Grand Premier Cru. <laughs> Domain Vin Monsieur. That was it. Light up my ear. Unfortunately, empty. I got it. Okay, he will again say these as I put them back in the box. <laughs> um, in the Any root tomatoes? Any gear beer? Any gear? Any orange? Orange? Any red apple? And orange mud. Small here. Small And gradient And here my color. And a Then you Oh. And <laughs> dry. Then hold on. Yeah. Hold on. yeah. So. Some of our class times are spent learning about the traditions and customs of Luxembourgers. For example, prior to Lent, we celebrated Kuzik, which is usually on the day before and Wednesday. It is like Mardi Gras in New Orleans. Participants come dressed in costume and the food is special for the occasion. We celebrate National Day, Kiramis Day, St. Nicholas Day, and also on the day after Easter, we celebrate Emotion. Emotion. And bring our collections of Peck Miller Church. I can't. I always Pick Philosophia. One more time, Daniel. Pick Philosophia. Thank you. Those are bird whistles that are made in Nostal. And we bring those to class. And there is more. We learn 
we share, and we hope to be able to have another trip to Luxembourg for language and culture and heritage in the not too distant future through the Luxembourg American Cultural Society. We owe feel most mercy to many Luxembourg friends and the Ministry of Luxembourg. I'm afraid to begin mentioning them by name because I might miss one or two or three. Over the years, we have had help from so many people. Enos Coring, Marianne Johan. Oh, I, I'm starting to mention them. Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> and, and we have gone through many different books, texts. Some of them are listed in your handout. Um, and we just continue learning all of the time. And this is a time now for questions. So I think, I'm not sure how that works here, but Serena will take the questions. Yes, so uh, you can uh, ask your questions by typing them into the question and chat box to the right of your screen. We've already got quite a few questions, so I'll get started with those. First question is from Jenna. What is the difference between the pronunciation of E versus I? <laughs> um, an E in Luxembourgish is spelled E, and the I is the E, like in English, E. So it's a little bit confusing, uh, but the E in Luxembourgish, you pronounce that E. Okay. The next question is, what phrase for asking one's name or where it come from is more common? Is one more formal than the other? It's not necessarily the more formal one in, in asking. If you are asking Luxembourgish, there is a formal you and a personal you or friendly you. So the, the friendly you is Vejish Stu. And if it's more official, you will say Vejish uh, Tier. So it's Du and Tier. So the respectful you is, is Tier. D E D F I E R. Spell it in English. Uh, you spelled it in English. D-I-E-R. Yeah. <laughs> and I think they were wondering about, in our conversation, we asked, um, uh, and versus Ashtation, or Ashtu, right? Those were both asking, what is your name? You would Probably the more common one is VHU or VHD. Okay. That is that is more more common. What is your name? You rather say to a friend or in a more friendly situation. Because that's you that is more the um just the, the first name. Um what's your name? That's more for the first name. And um that is uh, that is for the first and last name. All right, great. The next question is from Mary Beth. I'm not hearing the difference between the pronunciation of E versus E with an accent. Is it extremely subtle? You, it depends on the combination. That it's, it's more than a combination of um, characters. For example, for example, beautiful is shame. And that's spelled S C H E with the um, accent. accent on it, then I N, shame. But if you say me, there it is N E E, me, shame, it's, but that is with the E accent and then I. It's more a combination of. Or Ming, Ming Fieda, Ming is my, and that's, and it's, Men or me. Okay, great. Uh, next question is from Christina, and it's um, well, two questions here. Really. Why is the number one as is? Um, but when we say one red tomato, we say 
and that's male and female. We, we make a, a difference um, for the words. A tomato is female in Luxembourg words, so we say "ang." Um, with a fish, for example, a fish is um, uh, you say "een fish," not "ang fish." It's "een fish," um, and uh, for tomato, it's "ang tomat," "ang beer." One beer, a beer, that's masculine, so it's "een beer." That be the same for the two yellow, sorry, two yellow lemons. Yes, we, we like to make it more complicated in Luxembourg. So um, <laughs> yes, yes you, for for the two yellow, um, you you say slow or sweet. May I interrupt here? One of the things that we tried to keep simple in this lesson was not get involved with the. Uh, gender of the uh, words and some other kinds of uh, little rules that enter into um, the language because there are many kinds of things that we take into consideration in uh, saying and writing Luxembourgish and, and that's why we have to take the class and, and it is very helpful to learn those but it takes time. Okay, and this is uh, probably similar, uh, kind of on the vein of what you were talking about, um, Mary. But uh, one of the questions was, I'm wondering how to distinguish singular from plural. Lumpen uh, is potatoes. What is potato singular? I'm sorry. I, I didn't... What is the singular of potato? The grumper, not the e n at the end. Okay, perfect. Daniel, can you go over, I think one of the interesting ones is Peck Milchen versus, like one bird whistle versus many bird whistles. One is Peck Milchen and one is Peck Milchen. Many Peck Filashiach. But again, there are so many rules that, uh, because that all, uh, goes under the, an exception and it's not following the standard. <laughs> Otherwise, it's too crazy and too boring. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You kind of already said this a little bit, but to reiterate, um, why is the number one sometimes E N G and other times E N? That is depending on the on the gender of the, um, the main subject, and people very often ask. Um, as how do you know if it's male or female? And I can tell you, you don't. No, there's no rule for that. It does not make sense. Um, you have to learn those uh, those things. It is very similar to German, where it is exactly the same way. We as native Luxembourg speakers, we just have it in our feeling. We never taught, uh, were taught what is male and what is female. We just know because we're we're talking or speaking language uh, since we grew up. But there are rules out there, but as a native speaker, you don't know them. <laughs> <laughs> that happens in English too. <laughs> um, so, uh, the person is asking I speak French fluently and some German, but I have a hard time with Luxembourgish. Can you offer advice? <laughs> <laughs> well, some of the words in Luxembourgish are derived from French and German. So you have the advantage of um, knowing a little bit of that. And so use what you know to help you understand the Luxembourg language. Yeah, German will help more for the basics of Luxembourgish because Luxembourgish is a, a German dialect. It started as a German dialect. So Many words are based on, on German, but today, in today's Luxembourgish, there are many, many French words in there as well. So both should, knowing French and German should definitely be a very big advantage. Um, but it's mostly based, and also the grammar is based on German grammar. Okay, great. Um, all right, so we have a question. 
question from John. If I am in a restaurant and I order an there beer, would you bring me a pear or a pear? <laughs> <laughs> The beer is, oh, beer you say beer. Beer, beer is, is a German pronunciation for beer. Um, in Luxembourgish, a beer means a pear. But for beer, it is, um, it is beer. <laughs> and you can, you can say a beer or a schlift that will get you through the whole country without a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most important question we had so far. <laughs> Alright, uh, the next question is from Mandy. He and she, how would that be said? Mother, father, son, and daughter as well. So how would you say he and she? He is here and she is hot. And then the words for mother, father, son, and daughter. <laughs> pop, 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 yeah, mom, mom, and yo, 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 um, good Would you mind repeating those again? <laughs> pop, mom, yo, Deutsch. Thank you. Okay. And the next question. How is W pronounced? Is it V as in written in the handout, like V in French, or V? It's V. So it's like a V. It is, it is pronounced V rather than W. In a, a, B. Yeah. In the handout, it looks like W as in. Um, we are going somewhere, but it is pronounced like V as in victory. Yeah. Okay. All right, the next question is how do you say goodbye or good night? And also, do you use one uh, during certain times and one during others? Uh -huh. Good night is good notion. We will do that and goodbye. And goodbye. At the end, and that would be when you are leaving somebody anytime. at any time during the day, but obviously at night, you would say, mm -hmm. All right. Next question is uh, How would you say, What time do you open for a store? And then I guess you could also say, What time do you close? <laughs> <laughs> We'd say, um viel hour macht ihr auf? At what time do you open? Um, um viel hour macht ihr auf? And for what time do you close? It's just, you just change the last word. But that way you say, um viel hour macht ihr so? Op is open and so is closed. Would you say them both one more time? Um viel hour macht ihr auf? Um welche Hour jetzt so? Thank you. Um, this next question is: um, As there are different dialects within Luxembourg, which one are we learning? The one from the city center. Okay. It's up north is up north. There are two or three dialects that even we from the city sometimes. Have to ask a couple of times to understand what they mean. And in the South, it's mostly a different pronouncing of the words. And what's interesting is Daniel mentioned that even we Americans, when we try to speak English, have a dialect. <laughs> it's um, sort of like. Um, like for instance, we have a Midwestern accent here in in the Midwest, and so that would carry over into our way of speaking Luxembourgish. If we came from the South, 
that would carry over in the way we speak Luxembourgish. And um, and so I know our dear friend Beatrice Creer always would correct me when we were speaking. She'd say, roll your R's. <laughs> and that's something that we have a tendency not to do when we're speaking the language. So th this is something that um, is normal for people to have to try to understand. So like Daniel was saying, even in the North, there is a different way of uh, speaking the language compared to the other Southern region. And it's, it's comparable when, when I speak English, I will always have an accent. So also, you try to learn Luxembourgish, you will always have an accent when you speak, which is just normal. Everybody will always be able to tell that I am not American when I speak English. And that's just how, how it is when you learn the languages. You can't perfect them to the level that you sound like a native speaker. All right. So the next question is, how do you say water? Wasser. <laughs> Could you repeat that a couple more times? Wasser, W-A-S-S-E-R, in English letters. But again, the W is pronounced as a B. Wasser. Perfect. All right, next question. Are there specific rules for the accents on vowels? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Those are called diphthongs, and that's a whole lesson in itself. It would take us a bit to go through each of them because it's a combination of the I and the E, the O and the E, and E E. And um, so, yes, there are different rules for the vowels. Okay. Great, thank you. Uh, the next question Where would you usually encounter written Luxembourgish versus French? Where would you usually encounter written Luxembourgish when in Luxembourg? Would it be menus? Would you encounter restaurants? Maybe Showing. restaurants, yes. Um, it's I would say it's mostly in the written press, in daily newspapers, um, on websites, um, in the internet, uh, in books, uh, books for sure. Um, but in, in restaurants, most menus are either in French or French German and English, depending on uh, which restaurant it is. It's it's rarely in in Luxembourgish because we are such a diverse nation. We have we have so many. Uh, we have six hundred thousand uh, people living in Luxembourg, um, but less than 50 percent are Luxembourgers. So there's less and less people speaking Luxembourgish. Thank you. Uh, the next question is, do you recommend a beginning Luxembourgish book? Is there a specific book that you recommend? And you can find some in the handout that we have there. At the end of the handout, there are books recommended. Um, the one that is written in English to make it easy to understand is Learn Luxembourgish by Ms. Wagner. The one that, the textbook that, these are textbooks, and the one that we are presently using is Schwetz here that it's a British, and that comes with online um, material so that we can listen to it as well as read it. And a picture book, which is very good, is Meng Aish Dawson Theater of Native Bookers. I um, I have purchased that one for my grandchildren. Besides, even when we were using it in our class, it's very interesting because it has pictures of everything with 8,000 words. Um, in addition to that, there are many, many storybooks and songbooks that we have used in our class and uh, and they can be I'm thinking Ernster uh, bookstore is the one that 
is our resource for many of the books. Okay, great, thank you. And this last question, uh, how does it tie in uh, to your uh, classes that you offer here? So um, for those who don't live in Wisconsin or Luxembourg, what resources do you recommend for learning, learning the language that you are offering uh, Zoom classes, correct? Yes. And if they wish to join us on Zoom, um, all they have to do is contact me by email, it's on the handout, and give me their contact information, and I will include them on our uh, Zoom. Um, anybody who wants to join us um, needs to know that. It is not an official class. Um, that would help them pass the exam. It's more one that um, will help them become familiar with the language and the culture and the heritage. If you're going to travel to Luxembourg, it would be nice to yes. know some phrases and again, a lot of stuff like this, key phrases as opposed yes. to maybe genders of fruit or. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, we are out of time now, um, so. I'd just like to say thank you to uh, the Luxembourg language class and to Ante and Associates for letting us uh, use their space uh, and equipment. Uh, and if anybody has questions or would like more information, you can definitely visit our website, www.lacs.lu. What? Any parting remarks? Are you ready? <laughs> 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 <laughs>